Now the Sony ZV-E10 is one of the best time-lapse cameras you can buy at any price point. And I think most people that buy this camera do so for its video capabilities or as a content creator's camera. And they don't actually realize what a powerful tool it is when it comes to time-lapse. And what I've done is I've actually paired this camera up with an entire setup and a micro slider that just really takes the time-lapse capabilities of this camera to the next level. Because not only are we getting the movement of the things in the scene that they're, we are creating the time-lapse of, we are adding the movement of the camera. So this is pretty much one of the best cameras you can buy for time-lapse, paired with probably the best affordable slider that you can get for time-lapse. And I'll be sure to link the lenses and everything that I recommend for capturing time-lapse in the description down below. Now, when it comes to the ZV-E10, the things that really make it so good for time-lapse is one is the sensor. It has a sensor which is also found in Sony cameras that cost twice as much. This means that it, it produces excellent quality photos. It's very, very good in low light. And the fact that it's an APS-C size sensor means that we get a smaller camera, but we also get smaller lenses. So this allows me to take this camera and lens combination, and this is my complete kit for time-lapse. And it only takes up a very small portion of my camera bag. And the reason I do take a separate camera for time-lapse is because often when I'm sort of creating family video or a content creation for YouTube, I want to have a time-lapse to sort of lay into the scene. And I can just set this up on a little tripod or I can set it up on the micro slider. I can have it doing its time lapse while I'm creating my content. And then maybe I'm done after 10, 20 minutes shooting with my main camera and I come and I've also got my time lapse to sort of go with that. So it's a really powerful way to sort of create more compelling videos and just do something a little bit extra with your ZV-E10, which a lot of people don't realize it can do. And don't be afraid of capturing time-lapse in this camera because one of the reasons I love it so much is because it has a menu system and intervalometer built into the camera, which is extremely easy to use. And what we are actually creating with this camera and this slider combo is a true photographic time-lapse using the intervalometer in the camera. And the quality of this footage, when done right, really could be something good enough to be used in a sort of Netflix drama or documentary series. The quality of the footage is actually that good. Now, in addition to how good the ZV-E10 is, this little slider has a bit of a trick up its sleeve as well, because it's what's called a sort of double distance or double slider. And what you're seeing here is the camera is actually sliding. But if you can see, this component of the slider is actually sliding. So it's got an entire tray that slides and this sort of mounting point on top of the slider is moving, but the entire tray below that is moving as well. This isn't getting us quite as much as double the distance, but it's dramatically increasing the distance that the slider moves compared to the side, size of the slider. So that means that we are getting a lot more movement out of a much smaller slider. And the size of it also makes it extremely portable and it comes with this sort of case, and this case holds the slider itself, and this is actually the electronic version. So we've got the motor over here, and the motor just sits in this little case. So it's really made to travel. In addition to that, what I really like about it, and the samples that you've seen in the video, I, you can actually put this on a tripod, and that works really quite well. And it actually comes with the support legs that allow you to attach it to a tripod and keep it so that it isn't wobbling back and forth because it's sort of sliding this great distance from the center of gravity. But in addition to that, it has these legs built into the slider. Now, this is so powerful because it allows you to position the slider on the ground and the closer it is to that ground, that sort of foreground ground element, the bigger that movement looks and the more dramatic the effect of the time lapse is. In addition to that, these little feet, they're sort of like flexible. So if you put them on an uneven surface, they actually sort of will form to the surface. And so that allowed me to put the, the slider at all different angles and in all different surfaces to create a really compelling moving image or a movement of the slider and the camera itself. If you had to mount this on a tripod, you couldn't actually get the whole thing low enough to sort of create that sort of surreal effect or that sort of floating above the ground sort of effect. 
And one of the other key features of the slider is the fact that it has an app that connects to the slider, which is super, super easy to use. So you've got the easy intervalometer actually in the camera itself, and then you've got the very easy control of the slider with the app. And you can either set it to photo or video mode. And in photo mode, you actually tell it to move and there are different stop points where it moves and then it takes a photo, moves, takes a photo, moves, takes a photo. But the way that I have been using it and the way that I found it very, very easy was I would just set it on the video setting, set it to the lowest possible speed. And in fact, in fact I think most of the stuff you've seen has been shot at 3% speed. You can go as low as 1%, which would be very, very slow. But I was shooting at 3%. Then I just programmed the time lapse into the intervalometer in the camera and then I just let the thing go. And you can set it to continuously go back and forth, or you can just set it for one pass. And so all you had to do is on the app, you hit start, the slider starts sliding, you hit start the time lapse on the actual camera, it start takes starts, starts taking the photos, and then at the end of the slide, the slider stops, and then you can either have pre-programmed the camera to stop at a certain point after a number of shots, or what I like to do, just make it so there's way more shots than I need, and then at the end of the time lapse, I just hit the trigger again, and that stops the time lapse. And personally, I can say without question, this is the best micro slider I have ever used, and probably the most impressive thing about it is after creating this footage, I did not have to stabilize it at all, at all in editing. I haven't touched it. That I have never had happen with a micro slider, but this thing is so smooth that it really just comes out of the camera absolutely per perfect with absolutely no image stabilization whatsoever. So if you want to upgrade the production value of your video, adding motion time lapse is an incredibly powerful way to do that. And I'll link all the gear I used in this video in the description down below. And honestly, this micro slider, this is the first time I've ever used one by this brand, but I honestly couldn't recommend it highly enough.